and camp and the camp experience, like how important is uh, like the maintenance department? Uh, maintenance for this facility or for any facility is is very important. Um, if there is something that is broken or the temperature is not right or uh, something's not working properly or causes a liability, that any of those little nuances of things cause distraction from what the ultimate mission statement and purpose of the camp being here. So we realize that the maintenance and the facility upkeep is a huge part of the work that goes on here year round. I'm so thankful for Cody and the other guys who uh, work so hard to take care of the, the facility that we have. Preaching is obviously the most important thing, but having a facility that accommodates the campers and where they can stay cool with air conditioning. And so when you, when you think about where we used to do all of our maintenance repairs and store all of our maintenance things in the downstairs of the, the, the chapel building over there, and the great transition that it's been for us to be able to build this new maintenance facility to give Cody Bill and his, his crew open space to be able to work on vehicles, break down air conditioners, do woodworking and store um, our, um, our vehicles and equipment. It has been a huge blessing. Hey guys, my name is Eric Hansen. I am the project manager here at South and Christian Camp. And we wanna give you guys a little bit of perspective and show you guys a little bit of history and then a little bit of what's going on right now. So this right here is the basement. If you've never been down here, that's okay. You probably wouldn't ever see it unless you either worked here or you knew Cody really well. But the basement is where Southland has had its maintenance for many, many, many years. We inherited this from the last 60 years of history, but this is what Southland has always had until the last couple months. So now we're gonna go up to the shop and we're gonna show you what we now have for our maintenance facility. Hey guys, here is the shop. We have an awning on either side, and we have storage, storage bay for all our appliances, and then our mower shed past that. On the other side, we have more storage and our supply room that we can access from the outside. So, as you can see right over here, we also have an awning with a concrete pad that we can spray all of our vehicles off on, on the front and on the back. So now we're going to go inside. I'm going to show you the rest of it. Come on. All right. Welcome to the shop. Now we have air conditioning in here, which is so nice. So nice. So then we have two 14 foot roll up doors, one right here and one on the other end. So we can pull the fire truck all the way through the building. Over here is our wood shop side. So we have our table saw, all of our saws and projects midstream, uh, and all of our wood storage over here that we can access from the outside as well with a roll-up door. Over on this side, we have Cody's office right here, Buffalo Cody Bill. Uh, we have a restroom and we have all of our tool storage over here as well in a separate room, air conditioned or climate controlled, the whole deal. On over here, we have the mechanic shop side. So as you can see, we have been blessed with a 10,000 pound vehicle lift that is that will lift up most vehicles that we have here at camp. Uh, so this is our mechanic shop side with the mechanic bay. Uh, over here on our right then, is all of our welding, all of our metal working tools, drill press, and so on. 
Over here we have our paint room, uh, which is really nice to have. So we have all of our paints organized and separated out. And then over here we have our supply room. So in here is where we keep all of our electrical supplies, our hardware, all of our plumbing, all of everything. And we can walk into it from the shop side or from outside. Maintenance is a very big part of camp, very part of, very big part of keeping the facilities running both now and in the future. And that's what this facility is gonna allow us to do. We are so thankful once again for everything and for everyone that helped us with this project. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I was coming into lunch during summer camp uh, and Mike had motioned to me to come across and usually when he does that, when he wants to talk to me about something that needs to be fixed or we need to you know, put some attention on something and he pulled me out in the lobby and told me that somebody had given the money to build the shop and I, I was elated, ecstatic, unbelief. That has been one of the things that I've so desired is to have a shop that we could actually call a shop and not just the basement. And it's, um, uh, that, that was a monumental day that I'll remember for a very long time. As I've stated before, when I tell people about the gym and some of the other things that have happened here, uh, all of these many things, many times are a testament to my lack of faith. Um, I don't always believe that God is as big as he really is. And uh, the gym really taught me that lesson. Uh, did I believe that it would happen? I believed it could happen. I knew it could. I knew God could do it if he wanted to. Did I think it would? I don't know. Um, I just knew that if God wanted it to happen, it would. And I knew that it was something that we were desiring. And um, yeah, God's a big God. He can do anything he well pleases.